Hello, I'm Atu Jimin. You're watching Hornbill TV Prime at 9. Assam Police has detained two persons in connection with a private Mia museum dedicated to the Mia Muslim community on allegations of wrongful use of the premises, the official said. The police further said that they have been charged in a case under various sections of the Indian Penal Court and the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. The Special Director General of Assam Police, G.P. Singh, took to Twitter and said that the two leaders will be questioned about their links with activities of terrorist outfits, Ansarula Bangla team and Al-Qaeda in the Indian subcontinent. What is going on in a museum? Some people have kept their father in their house, their poor children have kept their house. आप उसको डिटेन कर दिया ये हंसने वाली बात है आप इसको मैं समझता हूँ कोर्ट में जाएगा सब दूध का दूध पानी का पानी ये बेंगोली रीजन तो जी बिल्कुल नांगल बना है सब वो शेप टू बिल्कुल करें खेती की वक्त बिल्कुल काम करें जापीर निशन है तो दूध होना है तो गोल बना है तो दिगोलिया के बना है a newly born female infant was found lying abandoned near National Highway 6 at Alakapur of Hailakandi district in Assam. The previous night, the child was found near Moronagat village under Algapur police station. After being rescued by locals, she was rushed to the Alakpur model hospital where she was admitted for treatment. Locals informed that after the child was born, someone left her near the roadside along the highway. Local residents of the village informed that they heard the cries of a child at night. This led them to come out of their houses and search. The child line team of Haila Kanti district has been informed of the incident and has now taken over this case. आजी मने 9 पीएम तो हमारे को ये तो फोन कॉल पाई सु बंगला अलगापुर आज के नोएडा और मने नोएडा से हम लोग को फोन कॉल पाई सी जे अलगापुर हॉस्पिटल लेकर नो बजा तो किसी से पाव गये चे मने पुलिस और माध्यम में रेस्क्यू होये चे तो ये तो सेल्टा का प्रोजेक्शन हो गये शुरू में वो तो बच्चे टा एवंटेड पूरा बहुत टिप की पूरी कॉल पुनाई बच्चे ने चले एक बोले एवंटेन बच्चा की करा है जो चाइल्ड प्रोटेक्शन यूनिट आसे है लेकिन दिते बाय उरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट के ताके चाइल्ड प्रोटेक्शन के प्रोसेस में तो बच्चा को ले एवंटेन बच्चा को ले के माने शेल्टर दवा पाए तो फास्ट तीन मास बच्चा को ले ताक The Department of Art and Culture organized a tribal festival with the theme Igniting Cultural Traditions at the Amphitheater of the Directorate of Art and Culture in Kohima on October 26. The advisor for Art and Culture and Tourism, Kihovi Yaptomi, was the special guest of the event. Speaking during the occasion, the advisor expressed happiness at seeing the colorful cultural troops from different tribes in the state capital celebrate the festival. Yaptomi said that Naga people have rich and unique culture with different dialects and traditions and everyone must strive to protect this unique culture. He urged people to encourage each other and teach the younger generation the ways of their culture by organizing such events. India's independence day. आजादी का आम्रित मोहासाब और ऑन दिस डे वी वंस अगेन रेमेंबर विद अटलोस ग्रेटिट्यूड द फ्रीडम फाइटर्स हो गेट देयर ऑल टू गेट फ्रीडम फॉर ऑल ऑफ़ अस मैं गॉड ब्लेस देयर सोल्स टुडे I'm very happy and I'm very much impressed by the presence of the colorful culture troops.
from different tribes. I didn't, and said I didn't expect this much. Kidabi Nagaman Tiri, Kohimati, Amagam Nagaman tribe, Alak, Alak Aigiri Niga, Jama Kurubo Kota, Iman, expect Kuramaji. Situation Kurabi, Alak Alak death, Alak Alak Mantihi, celebrate to Kurtagi. Amakala food, Amakala tradition, Alak Alakase. I will go to my country, diverse. At the rich culture, Tagala said, I said, it's super Amakanke, at the unique way, Pramakanke, Punaganase. The Southern Angami Public Organization and some villages have come forward to repair the deplorable road and H2 from Pesama to the Mao Gate of approximately 26 kilometers on October 26. The frontal organization of the Southern Angami areas had a meeting on October 19 in Kohima and deliberated on the deplorable condition of National Highway 2 as the road was too risky for vehicles unless major repairs were done on it. It reportedly had become an accident-prone area and daily commuters were facing problems. The president of the Sayo Metekhelia Majura informed that because the villagers don't see any progress as was expected till date, the SAYO and the villagers for the second time decided to contribute their efforts. I am Mr. Kevipudi Sophie, President Southern Angami Public Organization. Today, we have decided to take up a repair work of National Highway to the entire Southern Angami area. Today, we have uh, repaired the work. Total of five villages of uh, Southern Angami area has uh, participated in this repair works. The stretch from Pesama to Kuzama is about to, uh, 30 kilometers. The work has been carried out by free will contribution from different villages and also from individuals, well-wishers. And I find the outcome is very good. The response was too good. And then uh, most of the deplorable roads are repaired. The community leaders have said that the public strongly urges the authorities to immediately work on it or else the SAYO will be compelled to bar entry and ban entry and exit of heavy vehicles till the road is made two lane or four lane for the safety of all. Otherwise, the construction team would be held responsible for any untoward incidences that may arise due to the deplorable condition of the road. Assam Chief Minister Manta Biswasama addressed a press conference on Wednesday at the Janata Bhavan during the launch of the Lachid Parpukan app and online portal in Guwahati. A two-day event starting on November 23 will be held in Delhi's Vigyan Bhavan that will showcase the life of the warrior who defeated the Mughals in the Battle of Sarai Ghat in 1671. Portal launch Korim, Arugata app launch Korim, Lachid Parpukan or Namor Lassit Borfukon dot com by it horner. A e portal to Ami Potomote Lassit Borfukon or Bikoi Liki Tatami upload Koribo by upload color logelage. He formatting Hojabo Lassit Borfukon or Fotore Huite Aro Takami download Kori Rakibo Parim. आरो डाउनलोड करा लगे लगे एखन अहम सरकार सिक्युरिटी पत्र पाम द्वितीयते कोनो बाय कागज व्यवहार करिव न खुजिले पोर्टलत गयै तेन लुके मनर भाव लिखिबो पारिबो तातु तेन लुके एखन सर्टिफिकेट इतो एप बुली आमी कम एटा एप डाउनलोड करिम हे एप तुर जरियते आमी लासिद बरफुकनर बिखय आमी The app will allow the public to publish the literary works, poems and articles showcasing the life of the warrior. A pre-formatted physical booklet will be also released by the district commissioners where people will be able to upload their write-ups, said Sarma. People publishing their write-ups on the web portal will also receive a letter of acknowledgement from the Assam government, Sarma said. 
Meghalaya is yet to become self-sufficient in fish production but seems to be efforts to promote entrepreneurship in it. The sixth edition of the State Aqua Fest was conducted at the State Central Library on Wednesday. The Secretary of the Fisheries Department, C.B. Chakravarti Sadhu, inaugurated the event. Fish farmers from various districts of Meghalaya showcased and marketed their produce. As part of event, stalls were set up and run by various government departments, self-help groups, non-governmental organizations, farmers and entrepreneurs who displayed and sold fish and other products. The program aims to showcase developments in the fishery sector under the Meghalaya government. The state's government is promoting entrepreneurship in the fish farming sector through the event. Fish is one of the primary foods for the people of the state and many farmers are involved in this sector. So this Aquafest is being organized by uh, Fisheries Department of Meghalaya with a, an objective to encourage our fish farmers particularly to uh, opportunity to sell their produce at the same time to facilitate interaction with various entrepreneurs and also to make them understand various up-to-date technologies which are encouraged by the department so that in long run they'll get more um, price for their uh, fish and also they'll get to know various technologies to improve the production and also to um, uh, encourage them for the processing of fish so that they'll get better price for their fish. So in this is the main objective is to um, encourage entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial um, qualities in our farmers and uh, improving their um, livelihood so that fishery sector in general is, um, is, uh, can be improved in our state. With an aim to improve the fish production in the state, Meghalaya government every year organizes Aquafest Festival. This year too, the 6th edition of Aquafest Festival is being organized here in Shillong. You can see a lot of fish farmers are here selling their products. As the state government aims to increase the fish productivity in the state. From Shillong, I am Purvasha Bhattacharji reporting for Hornbill TV. Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Sao on Wednesday declared that the state's government has adopted zero tolerance stands against any kind of law and order violation. A day after a sensational sh shootout took place in the suburbs of Agartala city, Dr. Shah said that he would prove it with data that the law and order situation has improved in the recent years. During the shootout as a stray incident, he said some incidents took place, but earlier the numbers were higher. It has been controlled to a large extent, Dr. Shah pointed out. The chief minister also said that he would soon share data of such incidents with a comparative analysis with the previous regimes. मेरा पास जो डाटा है मैं आप लोगों को बुला के एक दिन पूरा त्रिपुरा में जो लॉ एंड ऑर्डर वो डाटा आपको हम देंगे उस वक्त आपको समझ में आएगा और पब्लिक जानेगा कितना बेहतर मतलब बेटर है हमारा जो लॉ एंड ऑर्डर सिचुएशन देखिए एक दो घटना तो घटी है तो ये तो पुलिस लेकिन मैंने बोल दिया है जहाँ भी कोई भी इस तरह कोई घटना हो करी से करी से उसका तदन करे और उसके बाद जो लॉ एंड ऑर्डर जिस तरह चलना चाहिए कानून का राज है वैसा वो एस्टेब्लिश करना है उसमें कोई जीरो टॉलरेंस है हम लोगों के पास हुआ है पहले भी हुआ था उसका पहले भी और ज़्यादा जब बहुत ही ज़्यादा हुआ था उसका कंपैरिजन भी आपके सामने हम रखेंगे कुछ ही दिनों में आप समझ में आएगा और मैं पुलिस को निर्देश दिया किसी भी जगह पर कुछ मतलब हम लोगों के तरफ से जीरो टॉलरेंस होना चाहिए थैंक यू द एनुअल फिश फेयर एंड फिश क्रॉप कंपटीशन इन मणिपुर वाज कंडक्टेड इन इम्फाल वेस्ट टुडे the program organized by the Department of Fishery was conducted in connection with the Ninkol Takopa program which falls on October 27. Speaking during the occasion, Manipur Fisheries Minister Haikam Dingo said, Singh said, The Fishery Department has been playing a big role in providing the staple diet sufficiently in the state. He said that out of the 52,000 empty of the required fish for consumption, the department has enabled to produce 32,000 empty in the year 2019. 
The government has been focusing on the production of fish in consultation with experts from other parts of the country. The government will be able to produce 50,000 MT at present, he added. <laughs> Ejbal Krishna Singh, Director of Fisheries, said that the fair is organizing the department for the 44th time with approximately 200 fish farmers participating in the event. He said 28 cash rewards will be handed to the winners of the fish crop competition. He added that the department targets producing 100,000 kgs of indigenous fish for the fair. For the first time, more than 3,000 kgs of the locally produced fresh sardine has been put up for sale in the fair this year, he added. A 52-minute long documentary film, Beyond Blast, based on the life of Konto Cham, Michael Mithi, a bomb blast victim, has been selected as a part of the Indian panel. Panorama official selection. Director Saikum Ratan's Beyond Blast, a Manipuri non-feature film, has been selected to be screened at the Indian Panorama of the 53rd International Film Festival of India 2022. During a simple function at the Manipur State Film Development Society, Saikum Ratan was felicitated. Talking to Hornbill TV, Ratan said the documentary film has been selected as a part of the Indian Panorama official selection. Wow, 
As the Indian Panorama is a flagship component of the IFFI, the selection has paved way for the documentary to be screened at the 53rd IFFI 2022 to be held from November 20 to the 28th in Goa, it was informed. Sai Komratan is an award-winning freelance video journalist and a well-known Manipuri cinematographer and filmmaker. Making this film, I have uh, a vision of everything whatever comes after completed this film. I don't think such kind of uh, will not be happen uh, to the out international audience or anyone. So my, uh, whatever I, 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 I want to, uh, I want to uh, do, make the film, uh, this is my decision. I will do my decision uh, to and whatever I want to the uh, audience. Uh, this is the story about the uh, budding artist Michael Kontosam, who is imputed bot like in the Paravi Bombers uh, 2007. Uh, so uh, in the making process, uh, we, are, uh, we are very, very uh, uh, something, you know, we got something, a problem is there, uh, actually, uh, this film is making is uh, about five years old, uh, five years, but the working days is only 90 days because of artist Michael Pan Panther is, is also very much busy in other her artist work so that we don't get any uh, so much time to uh, shoot the film. So we are facing uh, such kind of things no other things we cannot face it. So actually, the, the film is basically very in this world. And, uh, in this world, uh, everybody is want to uh, become a, want to a peace, peaceful society, peaceful uh, coexisting in the world. So that uh, my film is also uh, a message of peace to the world. That's, I think, uh, that is the main thing, I think. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Bill TV.